hello hello dear viewers welcome to our channel it's very good to have you here in this video we are going to have a look at drum brake construction principle of operation and some of the checks and service operation to be performed on a drum brake the drum brake system works by using hydraulic pressure to push the brake shoes against a rotating drum creating friction and slowing down the rotation of the wheel as the friction material on the brake shoe wears down over time the adjuster mechanism ensures that the shoe remains in close contact with the drum, maintaining a consistent braking performance. Well, let's have a look at some of the several components of the brake system. 1. The brake drum. The brake drum is a circular metal component that is mounted on a wheel hub. It rotates along with the wheel and provides a surface of the brake shoe to press against. And then, we have the brake shoe. These are curved metal plates that are lined with friction material on the outer surface. They are mounted on the stationary backing plate and are positioned inside the brake drum. 3. Wheel Cylinders The wheel cylinder is a hydraulic component that is located inside the drum brake. When brake pedal is depressed, hydraulic pressure is applied to the wheel cylinder, causing the brake shoes to press against the rotating drum. 4. Brake Adjuster This is a mechanism that is used to adjust the distance between the brake shoes and the drum as they wear down over time. 5. Springs These are used to hold the brake shoe in place and to ensure they retract when brake is released. And then we have the brake fluid. This is a hydraulic fluid that is used to transmit pressure from the brake pedal to the wheel cylinder so the driver effort will be transferred to the brake shoes via the hydraulic fluid also the medium of power transmission is hydraulically done and finally from the master cylinder to the wheel cylinder there are brake lines these are metal or rubber tubes that carry brake fluid from the master cylinder to the wheel cylinder now when the brake is depressed Hydraulic pressure is transmitted from the master cylinder to the wheel cylinders. This causes wheel cylinders to push the brake against the inner surface of the brake drum. The friction between the brake shoe and the drum creates braking force that slows down the rotation of the wheel. As the wheel slows down, the vehicle also slows down. Now there are springs. The spring holds the brake shoe in place and ensures that they retract when brake is released. The adjuster mechanism is used to compensate for wear in the brake shoe and also maintain consistent braking performance. There are automatic black adjusters that are used on modern drum brakes. Every time you apply brake, that adjuster will keep the brake shoe in a minimum clearance. As the friction material on the brake shoe wears down, the adjuster mechanism moves the shoe closer to the drum to compensate for the loss of material and maintain proper contact between the shoe and the drum. Overall, drum brake systems are reliable and effective at slowing down vehicles. However, they can generate a lot of heat during heavy use, which can cause brake fade and reduce their effectiveness. Additionally, drum brakes are generally less efficient than disc brakes, which are now more commonly used in modern vehicles. Some signs of bad drum brake include the following. A squeaking or grinding noise. If you hear a high-pitched squeaking or grinding noise when you apply the brakes, it could be a sign that the brake shoe are worn out and need to be replaced. 2. Vibration or pulsation. If you feel a vibration or pulsation in the brake pedal when you apply the brakes, it could be a sign that the drum brakes are warped or out of round. 3. Reduced braking performance. If it takes longer to stop your vehicle, or you have to press the brake pedal harder than usual, or if you require pumping the brake pedal to slow down the vehicle, it could be a sign that the brake shoes are worn out or the brake drums are glazed. 4. Pulling to one side. If your vehicle pulls to one side when you apply the brakes, it could be a sign of uneven wear on the brake shoe or a problem with the hydraulic system. Or this could happen as a result of improper brake adjustment. Finally, the fifth symptom, 
burning smell. If you smell a burning odor coming from your brakes, it could be a sign that brake shoes are overheating due to excessive friction. So these are some of the top 5 signs that a drum brake exhibits when it starts to go bad. Regular maintenance and inspection of the drum brake is very important to ensure that they are functioning properly and safely. Here are some of the things that you can do in order to make sure that the brake drum is operating nicely. Well, the first thing you can do is visual inspection. Check the brake drums, the brake shoe, springs and hardware for signs of wear, damage or corrosion. Look at any leak in the brake lines and wheel cylinders. The other thing you can do, once the brake is open, you can measure the brake shoe thickness. Use a brake shoe gauge to measure the thickness of the brake shoe. If they are below the minimum thickness specified by the manufacturer, they need to be replaced. And the other thing you can do is check the drum brake runout. Check using a DL gauge. A technician can check the runout of the drum brake. If the drum is extremely run out, if it exceeds the maximum allowable limit, the drum needs to be resurfaced or replaced. The other thing that can be done on a regular basis is adjust the brake shoe. Adjust the brake shoe using the adjuster mechanism to ensure proper contact with the drum. Make sure that the shoe are not over adjusted, which can cause them to drag and generate excessive heat. There are automatic adjusters that, uh, that can adjust the clearance between the drum and the brake shoe automatically but on some of the old models the, the clearance has to be adjusted manually and the other thing that you can do is replace worn or damaged components if you happen to find any worn out or damaged components replace them as soon as possible replace any worn or damaged brake shoe brake spring or hardware also replace any leaking wheel cylinders or brake lines. And the other thing that can be done is a hydraulic system. If hydraulic system has some air trapped in it, it will act abnormally. So bleed the brake system. Bleed the brake system to remove any air bubble and ensure proper hydraulic pressure. So dear viewers, by following these steps, drum brakes can be kept in good condition and provide safe and reliable braking performance. Well, that's all we have for you in this presentation regarding the operation, construction, and some of the maintenance activities to be performed on a hydraulic brake system, on a drum brake system. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new here, do consider subscribing and turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Till then, stay safe.